has troubling findings for anyone who flies. A congressional report warns there's a high risk of disaster on airport runways around the country and plenty of blame to go around. Over the past year, there were 370 runway incidents, more than one a day, including 24 very close calls. ABC's Lisa Stark reports on the danger. At one of the nation's busiest airports, it's easy to see the potential for disaster. Los Angeles International, 140 takeoffs and landings an hour, one plane every 26 seconds. This year alone, two near collisions, including in August when a 737 came within 37 feet of a departing Airbus jet. It's not just LAX. The new report warns of a high risk of a catastrophic runway collision in the U.S. We have regressed in this most important arena of aviation safety. The FAA has made some progress, better airport markings and pilot training, but the report says much more is needed and blames the FAA for a serious lack of leadership on runway safety. It also points the finger at a growing problem, air traffic controller fatigue. At least 20% of controllers at 25 air traffic control facilities are working six days a week. And that's true for more than half the workforce at the Atlanta Tower, the nation's busiest airport. The fatigue sets in, and fatigue causes controllers to make mistakes. The report found the FAA has no good plan to deal with controller fatigue. The union says it's down 850 or 7 percent of qualified controllers this year due to retirements. We made suggestions to the FAA that they need to find some way to start addressing that immediately. And the GAO warns with the skies getting more crowded, runway safety concerns are only becoming more urgent. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington. And up next, the surfers riding high and tempting fate for the waves of a lifetime.